Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, let us learn idioms. Idioms ni telugu lo jati yalo ani anto. So we tini upiyagi chodan dwara. Mane English ne bi improve ches ko vachu. Stylish ka matla dhan ki kuncho. Enhanced speaking matla dhan ko si idioms mane channel ko upiyagi stone taro. So let us learn some idioms. So ka fifteen idioms aitha me mandhi tis karan chori gindi. Let us discuss. What is the meaning of these idioms and their meaning? So let us observe here. 15 idioms are there. You can see the first one bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. And second one hit the nail on the head. Hit the nail on the head. And next one don't cry over spilled milk. Don't cry over spilled milk. Fourth one, burning the midnight oil. Burning the midnight oil. Next one, cost an arm and a leg. Cost an arm and a leg. Sixth one, once in a blue moon. Seventh one, caught red-handed. Eighth one, the ball is in your court. The ball is in your court. Ninth one, a penny for your thoughts. A penny for your thoughts. Tenth one, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Eleventh one, let the cat out of the bag. Let the cat out of the bag. Next one. Cry over spilled milk. Cry over spilled milk. Thirteenth one. Keep an eye on the ball. Keep an eye on the ball. Fourteenth one. The elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. Fifteenth one. A dime, a dozen. A dime, a dozen. So these 15 idioms, let us learn what is the meaning of this idiom and how to use these idioms. These 15 idioms are the meaning of this video. We sentence let the sentence in this video. So before going to discuss these idioms, if you do not subscribe our channel, please subscribe and tap the bell button. Meeru man channel ni pade varuko subscribe chees ko pote. Kinda subscribe button utundi. Subscribe chee andi. Tarvat bell button me the tap chee ni ala chee din vara. Man videos meko notification ro kono vastai. Okay, let us see. First one. Bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. Let's show andi what is the meaning of this. Bite the bullet. Meaning, to face a difficult or unpleasant situation. To face a difficult situation or you can also say unpleasant situation. So what is the synonym of this unpleasant? You can also see unfriendly, disagreeable, hostile, cold or unkind. Different meanings are unpleasant, unfriendly, unkolangandi. So, with courage and determination. So, bite the bullet and to face a situation or to face a difficult or unpleasant situation with courage and determination. Courage thought it, determination and thought it, but a cluster minor, custom minor situation ni face it. Courage, what is meaning of courage? You can see synonyms, see, bravery or Okay, so that means bravery, diarium, determination. What is this meaning? What is the meaning of determination? Will willpower. Okay, so willpower. You can also see. So let us see the example. I had to buy the bullet and come for confront my fear of public speaking. I had to buy the bullet. 
and confront. What is the meaning of this confront? You can see synonym, you can understand. Challenge or a force. Okay. So, e public speaking and a conchum by him. So, then either record and so then challenge. Okay, chill switch in the end. I had to bite the bullet and confront my fear of public speaking. So, Neno, Yoka event in the area, chill switch in the bite the bullet. So, okay, I think you have got the meaning. Next one. Hit the nail on the head. Hit the nail on the head. So, what is the meaning of this idiom? To describe something accurately or precisely. So, they they na manamu accurate kante kachitanga. Precisely, precisely is nothing but. Exactly, exact. So, no need to uh, prolong or pet the story in a chin story. Precisely. To describe something accurately or precisely. Hit the nail on the head. On the idiom so let us see the example. His explanation of the problem hit the nail on the head. Problem is an explanation exactly. It was exactly what we needed to hear. So next one. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't cry over spilled milk. So, what is the meaning? Don't waste time worrying about things that have already happened and cannot be changed. Don't waste time. Time, brother, check and then worrying about things. Yeah, things that have already happened. Jarupo and Vishal Gurunchi. Don't worry. And cannot be changed. Eva ite jaripo indo. Eva ite manamu marchale mo dana gurunchi. Worry avda bad paradam waste ani se. Okay, don't waste time worrying about things. Atland vishal me da worry avto time waste ekandi. Example. I know you made a mistake. No tapche saun vishen adalsu. But there is no use crying over spilled milk. So, see, I know you made a mistake. Then, there is no use crying over spilled milk. And then, I know you made a mistake. So, there is no use. So, that is the meaning of this. Idiom. Don't cry over spilled milk. Next one. Burning the midnight oil. Burning the midnight oil. So meaning of change and working late into the night. The night to chala adratri work up and chain. The equa time on night is spent just to work me on a So at length time will man more. E idiom no pay Burning the midnight oil. So let us see the example. In order to meet the deadline, in order to meet the deadline, the team was burning the midnight oil for weeks. For weeks, for weeks and all terrible chest to one arpani. Then gosum in order to meet the deadline. Deadline ni meet out on gosum. The team was burning the midnight oil for weeks. Varal tharabadi vallu. Ratri. Ratri lanta koda. Panche sir. A deadline ni meet out on course. Next one. Cost an arm and a leg. Cost an arm and a leg. To be very expensive. And the chala karida inadi. And chapter goes on, cost you know, 
అండ్ ఎ లెగ్ అనే ఐడియంను ఉపయోగిస్తారు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ బయింగ్ ఎ న్యూ కార్ క్యాన్ కాస్ట్ అన్ ఆమ్ అండ్ ఎ లెగ్ సో ఐ ఆప్టెడ్ ఫర్ ఎ యూజ్డ్ వన్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ బయింగ్ ఎ కార్ క్యాన్ కాస్ట్ అన్ ఆమ్ అండ్ లెగ్ అంటే కొత్త కారు కొనడం చాలా ఎక్స్పెన్సివ్ అంటే చాలా ఖరీదుతో కూడుకున్నది సో కాబట్టి ఐ ఆప్టెడ్ so ikkada so, opted is nothing but choose i choose for a used car so already upayoginchina car ni konadaniki nenu prefer chesanu instead ante daniki baduluga kotta daanni konadaniki baduluga nenu already oka sari use chesina car ni use chesanu prefer chesanu ani okay next one once in a blue moon once in a blue moon so this idiom eppudu upayestam ante an event that occurs very rarely or infrequently so very rarely anna infrequently anna same same meaning ostundi so ante chaala arduga jarige panul gurinchi ante aa events gurinchi manam cheppalanukunnappudu once in a blue moon ane idiom ni manu vaadochu for example we go on a family vacation once in a blue moon due to our busy schedules ikkada chudandi we go on a family vacation family vacation anedi memu once in a blue moon gelta ante once in a blue moon ante chaala aruduga velthu untam endukani ikkada due to ee change chudandi due to ante reason teliyestam endukante our busy schedules ma plans gaani lekapothe ma panulu gaani chaala busy ga untam kabatti మేము ఫ్యామిలీ వెకేషన్ అనేది వన్ సినీ బ్లూ ఉమెన్ చేస్తూ ఉంటాం చాలా అరుదుగా చేస్తూ ఉంటాం నెక్స్ట్ వన్ సెవెంత్ వన్ కాట్ రెడ్ హ్యాండెడ్ కాట్ రెడ్ హ్యాండెడ్ సో మీనింగ్ కాట్ ఇన్ ద యాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ డూయింగ్ సంథింగ్ రాంగ్ ఆర్ ఇల్లీగల్ సో ఇల్లీగల్గా లేదా ఏదైనా పని చేస్తున్నాడు తప్పుగా పని చేస్తున్నప్పుడు ఆ పని చేస్తూ ఉండగా పట్టుకుంటే కాట్ రెడ్ హ్యాండెడ్ అంట సో ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ద థీఫ్ వాజ్ కాట్ రెడ్ హ్యాండెడ్ వైల్ ట్రయింగ్ టు స్టీల్ జ్యువెలరీ ఫ్రమ్ ద స్టోర్ థీఫ్ దొంగ స్టోర్ నుంచి జ్యువెలరీ స్టోర్ నుంచి జ్యువెలరీ స్టీల్ చేస్తూ ఉండగా పట్టుకున్నారు రెడ్ హ్యాండెడ్గా నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ద బాల్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ యువర్ కోర్ట్ ఇది మీకు చాలామందికి తెలిసింది ఇట్స్ యువర్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఆర్ డిసిషన్ టు మేక్ సో అంటే ఇప్పటి వరకు చెప్పాల్సిందని చెప్పాం మిగతా అది మీ డెసిషన్ లేకపోతే మీ బాధ్యత అని చెప్పేటప్పుడు ద బాల్ ఈస్ ఇన్ యువర్ కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇస్తాం ఈడియం ఓకే ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చూడండి ఐ హ్యావ్ డన్ మై పార్ట్ హ్యావ్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్కి చేయాల్సిన మా పార్ట్ ఏదైతే ఉందో అదంతా నేను చేశాను నావ్ ద బాల్ ఈస్ ఇన్ యువర్ కోర్ట్ టు కంప్లీట్ ఇట్ సో ఇప్పుడు మీ డెసిషన్ లేదా మీ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ప్రాజెక్ట్ని కంప్లీట్ చేయడం కోసం మీ చేయాల్సింది ఇప్పుడు చేయాల్సి ఉంది ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ద బాల్ ఈస్ ఇన్ యువర్ కోర్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ చూద్దాం ఏ పెన్ని ఫర్ యువర్ థాట్స్ ఏ పెన్ని ఫర్ యువర్ థాట్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆస్కింగ్ సమ్ వన్ వాట్ ది ఆర్ థింకింగ్ ఆర్ ఫీలింగ్ ఆస్కింగ్ సమ్ వాట్ ది ఆర్ థింకింగ్ ఆర్ ఫీలింగ్ వాళ్ళు ఏమనుకుంటున్నారు లేదా వాళ్ళు ఏం ఆలోచిస్తున్నారు అని అడగడం కోసం యూ విల్ యూజ్ దిస్ ఇడియం ఎ పెన్ని ఫర్ యువర్ థాట్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ సీమ్ లాస్ట్ ఇన్ థాట్ యూ సీమ్ లాస్ట్ ఇన్ థాట్ ఎ పెన్ని ఫర్ యువర్ థాట్స్ ఏదో పొగట్టుకున్నట్టు ఉన్నాం కనిపిస్తున్నాం ఏంటి సంగతి ఏ పెన్ని for your thoughts don't put all your eggs in one basket tenth one don't put all your eggs in one basket ee eggs anni ikkada oke basket lo pettoddu so din artham enti don't relay on a single plan or option in uh, in terms of another meaning diversify your efforts then me plans gaane ఏదో నీ ఆప్షన్స్ అన్ని ఒకే ప్లాన్ మీద పెట్టవద్దు వీటిని ఏం చేయాలంటే డైవర్సిఫై అంటే స్ప్రెడ్ 
divide into different uh, plans. So diversify your efforts. Ni efforts and ni kora spread chain. Let us see example. It's wise to invest in a multiple stocks. It's wise to invest in multiple stocks. So stocks lo invest jese da puru okay stock me the invest ek onda multiple stocks me the invest jedom wise thing. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And need to know that this kind of okay stock may be there. Okay, all stock log. I mean, last was there. We have to lose so many things. But it's wise to invest in multiple stocks. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Next one. Let the cat out of the bag. Let the cat out of the bag. And cat background is better than one another. So what is the meaning to reveal a secret or disclose information that was meant to be kept hidden? The Dachina 20 Rahasiani Baitiki Rane Vandan. So the cat is nothing but a secret. To reveal a secret or disclose information, Dachina information is Japan. Okay. So example Chadam. Sara accidentally let the cat out of the bag about our surprise party plans. Surprise party ni arranges on your plan just on. So I may unco can accidental ganges in the day. Everything revealed. Matum chepes in the matter. Sara accidentally let the cat out of the bag about our surprise party plans. Okay, next one. Cry over spilled milk. So this is already we have don't cry over a spilled milk another so almost the same. Worrying about something that has already happened and cannot be changed. So what is the example? I know you are upset about the mistake. You upset but there is no use crying over spilled milk. There is no use crying over spilled milk. And the challenge next one keep an eye on the ball keep an eye on the ball and the ball mero connection what is the meaning to stay focused and attentive to a task or a goal so a task chese a task gurinchi gaani ledha manu reach avalanu gaani goal gurinchi gaani focused ga unnadu what is attentive and concentration? Synonyms in the Nizamaninchi concentrate, observant. So, Nerantra observes to Vandali, focus Dana Devastun. So, what is the example? To succeed in this project, we need to keep an eye on the ball and avoid distractions. So, distractions and Evi was to Vandai. So what is distractions? You can also say interruptions or disruptions. So you think, okay, our distractions ni avoid just to manu chayal sina apani meda concentration ga, focus ga onadam. Okay, one day and chepe da puru, you can use this idiom, keep an eye on the ball. Next one, the elephant in the room, the elephant in the room. What is the meaning? An obvious problem or issue that everyone is ignoring. So obvious problem. What is the synonym of this obvious? Clear. Clear problem. The problem is clear. But everyone is ignoring. Ignore this regani. Overlooking. And choose So what is the example? The budget cuts were the elephant in the room during the staff meeting, but nobody mentioned them. The budget cuts. Budget and the chala cuts, sir. Baga clear ga kani bistundi, kani, but nobody mentioned them. Yavro kordo ani gorinchi, patinch kore. Next one. A dime, a dozen, a dime, a dozen. Meaning to them, 
something that is common and not particularly valuable something that is common ante okay edaina adi sadharanam not particularly valuable so anta vilavindi kaadu particular ga daniki anta vilu ivalsina avasaram ledu idi common ga jarigedi annatu idla cheppedappudu manam ee diameters anane ee idiyam ni upayogistam example chuddam in the job market in the job market degrees in business administration or a dime a dozen you need unique skills to stand out so in the job market job market lo ante job kosam vetike tappudu job market lo degrees in business administration business administration lo degree anedi sadharan kachithanga meeku undalasindi adu lekunda you cannot enter into the job market but uh, you need unique skills to stand out ante nu pratyekanga neeku value value ivvalante you should have unique skills neeku pratyekamaina skills anevi undali so that is the meaning a diamond or sun ante common but if you want a valuable or some particular value you need something extra you need unique skills to stand out okay so thank you for watching these idioms can add depth and color your english conversation making them more engaging and expressive please subscribe for more information thank you we will meet again in the next video until then keep watching our videos thank you bye bye